These are the latest images from the Soho C2 instrument. And this is the planet Jupiter. And the planet Jupiter's conjunction with the Sun just became perfect a little while ago, uh, a little earlier today. And the other coincidence with this event in Chile is the full moon. So this event happened very, very close to the full moon and very, very close to the conjunction of the planet Jupiter with the sun. And there's another interesting occurrence that happened at the same time. If you look at the northern region here of the sun, there is a coronal mass ejection in a very unusual configuration, in a northern configuration, that we don't usually see um, from the sun. And it's, it's especially surprising considering the solar minimum. And this is going to be coincident with more intense northern storm activity on the Earth in the next uh, week, approximately, two weeks, two weeks. And so there's going to be more unusual northern storms. And I wanted to challenge any of the people who have understood the nature of hypersymmetry to explain to themselves what the planets actually are by meditating on this and thinking about this relationship between uh, this coronal mass ejection, the conjunction of Jupiter and the Sun, and this earthquake here on Earth and the storms that we're seeing. So as the moon represents a sort of 30, 28 day hypertime shadow of the Earth's orbital inconsistency, what do the outer planets represent? And how can we see this reflected in these coincidences?